Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a new to me vendor haul which is Pixie and Toad Waxworks. Now I don't know a whole lot about the company. They kind of just, um, for me they kind of just showed up out of the blue. So I seen it and they're like an artistry wax company. Now it didn't come with any um, little information card or anything like that. I know one of the owner's names I believe is Dina. Um, but they do have a Facebook group and a web page so go check them out there and I will leave a link to the website down below so you could check out their items. Super cute wax so this is kind of like a smaller order. I kept it small because it is a new to me company, but the turnaround time for me when I ordered was three weeks. And then it got pushed farther because something happened, they ordered the wrong wax, and so they wanted to, they wanted to push out good product, so I don't mind the wait. This is definitely a great company. Their stuff is a work of art. It's beautiful. So I had to wait about four weeks or a little bit over, which it doesn't bother me. I waited six weeks uh, for the bathing garden plenty of times, so it's no big deal. I'd rather have, um, you know, quality wax. So anyway, let's get into the haul. Now, the only thing that I thought was a little surprising to me is they didn't send any samples. Because of the long wait time, um, I thought they were going to send samples because the order was pushed back, but you know, it is what it is. So let's get into the haul. I'm just going to put this little paper towel here so nothing gets all over my table. So let's start with the first thing, and this is little scent um, cubes or chunks in Summer Sippin', and this is Blue Raspberry Slushy, Cherry Slushy with Fizzy over fizzy Pop Overpour. I love that they have uh, the their little logo sticker on here, the company sticker. They have the pour date and the scent description so that's awesome now I took one of these out already because I wanted to take each uh, each item out of the bag so you don't hear a lot of crinkling because their bags are very loud and I know some people it bothers some people so I'm just gonna put that off to the side and bring the chunk in look how beautiful that is red white and blue chunks throughout now this oh I usually don't like fizzy pop like that seven up kind of scent this is it's not the strongest I do smell it but I get more of the blue raspberry slushy and the cherry slushy super super good I'm gonna yeah oh, it's very refreshing with that uh, slight hint of like the fizzy pop super super good so that was the first one um the next thing i have is the four pack of glazed jelly donut and this is glazed donuts with strawberry jam once again they have the pour date and it's supposed to come with little sprinkles I mean, obviously it's wax, so it's going to be hard for them to stick, plus the shipping. Oh, I wanted to mention the shipping. It came beautifully wrapped in their, um, in blue tissue wrap, and it had a sticker on top. It came bubble wrap, so everything was very nicely packaged. I just wanted to point that out. Let me just tip you guys. I feel like you're crooked. There we go. Now, okay. This is glazed donuts with strawberry jam. So it's a cute little donut wax melt. Love it. Mm. 
Now, I do get that slight bakery from the glazed donut. It's not the strongest. The strongest is that strawberry jam, but her their strawberry is very, very good. Usually strawberry is a hit or miss for me with vendors. It's just a very sweet, realistic strawberry jam to me with that little bit of bakery. And if you hear any noise in the background, it is storming outside, so there's quite a lot of thunder and, you know, downpours going on, so I'm, I apologize about that. All right, the next thing I have are these four pack of little pink elephants, and uh, it's called pink elephants, <laughs> and this is Mountain Dew and Rosewater Lemonade. And I thought this was interesting, so I just threw it in my cart and wanted to give it a try. So these are what they look like. Very cute. They're really tiny, so it's a perfect, uh, perfect melt. Now this, I don't typically like rose scents, but I think I'm starting to change my mind. Like, this is a very nice rose water scent. Now, I don't pick up uh, on too much of the le the Mountain Dew, excuse me. I do get, like, a, that citrusy, slight citrusy note, slight fizzy note. I pick up more on the, the rose water. It's super pretty, though. Very refreshing. Very unique. So, I really like that one. Okay, the next thing I have are these little um, what are you, popsicles, that's what they're called. Okay, <laughs> these are Floozy Blue. This is cotton candy dipped in blackberry fizz and sprinkles. So super cute, love those sprinkles on there. Look at all those. Let's put that aside and I'll show you one. So this is what they look like. Very adorable. Love the color. Love all the sprinkles. Now, with this one, I don't get a whole lot of uh, blackberry, but their cotton candy is very sweet, obviously. And it's really good cotton candy, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I get the fizzy pop, but I don't get too, too much of the blackberry. This is very, very nice. Let me smell it again. I mean, I definitely get that citrus fizz note. Um, the blackberry is in there, the fruity, but it's not super strong. All right. Let's move on. I want to get these sprinkle ones out of the way because I feel like I'm getting sprinkles all over the place. The next one is Sprinkle Donut, and this is Cake and Strawberry. So this is like the other one, except uh, the top kind of icing is darker. Oh, once again, her strawberry is one of my favorites um really really sweet like strawberry jam almost like strawberry jelly the cake the white cake i mean i guess it's white i don't know it smells super good very sweet bakery it's not like heavy bakery it's really it's just very very sweet so i really like that one see we're getting sprinkles all over the place. Alrighty, let's do the next one. Alright. This is a little two pack of owls, and this is mint tea owl, a blend of Moroccan mint, Earl Grey tea, and Avobath type. I believe that's like a lush type, kind of like, I don't know what Avobath is, maybe like lemongrass or something. But those are the owls. And this is what they look like up close. And they're pretty good size. It takes up like the palm of my hand. So I could probably get like four, four melts out of this. Maybe more. But yeah, this is what he looks like. He's super, super cute. I love the detail. Adorable. Now this. Oh my gosh. 
if you like mint and if you like refreshing scents, this is for you. This smells um, like when you take a mint leaf and pluck it off the, the bush and you rub it between your fingers. It's very earthy. It's a very earthy mint. Super, super strong. I get a little bit of that Earl Grey tea. Um, I don't really know what Avo Bath smells like on its own, but, I mean, it probably is in here. That's what it says. <laughs> but, yeah, I get the very strong mint scent, so it's very nice, very refreshing. If you love those kind of scents, I highly recommend picking, picking this one up. All right. The next thing I have... You're, oh, oh, let me see. Okay. Oops. I gotta show you the packaging first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. And like I said, if you hear really strong rain, it's really coming down outside. The next thing I have is Broom Hilda. I'm not gonna read the scent description here because it's it's longer on the website. So I'm just gonna read it. This is brown sugar maple vanilla. Brown sugar, maple, vanilla bean, caramel, and buttery pumpkin with a light sweep of sugar milk. And this is what it looks like. And it's got like a gold kind of bronzy dusting on it, so that's super pretty. I don't know if you could see that. Very pretty. Now, this is so, so buttery. I get the buttery caramel. I get a little bit of the sugar milk. Now I could I could pick it out because I don't really like sugar milk, but it's not strong. I get a very strong maple brown sugar scent. It's very, very buttery too. I don't get too much of like a pumpkin. More just like I said, the brown sugar, uh buttery maple brown sugar. That's that's what it smells like. It smells so good, and it's very strong, too. Alright. Let's do the next one. We have a four-pack of these cute little toasts. This is breakfast toast, and this is cinnamon French toast, maple syrup, apple fritters, and strawberry jam. And let me show you one up close so you guys can see the detail. I mean, come on, look how adorable that is. Look at the little pat of butter. I mean, this looks like an actual piece of French toast. I mean, on a smaller scale, but <laughs> this is adorable. I mean, I could probably get, if it's pretty strong, I could probably get four melts. If it's on the lighter throw, I'll probably get two. But come on, this is like, I can't even. <laughs> it's adorable, sorry. And this smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't get any apple. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get the apple or strawberry jam. It's just a very sweet, buttery, um, cinnamon sugar French toast scent. Like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's amazing. Or that French Toast Crunch cereal. So good. And I can't... I, I just love the look of that. So there was that one. Let's see. The next one we have is this little tart. I know it's not in here yet, but I'm going to show you. This is Going Bananas Banana and Whipped Cream. And uh, I, I died when I seen this tart. I love anything banana. Look how cute. Oops, there was a little piece that fell off. Look how cute this is. Look at the cute little bananas on there with the whipped cream. Like, I... What? <laughs> I'm just shocked at, like, the detail of this. And it's, like, painted, like, gold dusting. Adorable. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> now, this smells like... Uh, 
banana laffy taffy or banana runs. That's kind of what the top reminds me of, like banana runs pieces. So if you love that kind of banana, this one is for you. Now this was two dollars. I mean, it's it's pretty small, but I could probably get maybe like three melts out of this. So it's it's a good it's a good price. Really adorable. I love that one so much. All right, the next thing we have are these little, now I took these out of the bag. They're these little, uh, you know, let me show you the packaging first. Once again, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited about this order. It is called Brew Haha, and this is pumpkin cupcake and marshmallow. Now this came in a package and then each individual one was um, pre-packaged or individually packaged I should say so comes in these two little almost like um, shot cups so there are these I love the cute little monster and the cauldron yeah okay let's put one back here and I'll smell one this oh my god if you like if you like Bath and Body Works pumpkin cupcake or vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, that is what you get. Those two scents blended into this little cup. So good. So, so good. Now, it's not overly spicy. It's very sweet and creamy and pumpkin-y. I just, I love this. And the detail, I love, I love it. I like what? I don't know. So good. Totally worth the uh, the turnaround time. It's totally worth the wait, you know. And we will do the last thing. Now, I'm not going to take this out of the bag because it is big. And it's kind of really, it's really crumbly. So, I don't want to, you know, get it all over the place. But this is... Cookie Monster, and this is fresh baked cookies sprinkled with sugar and spice. Now I can show you through the package. I mean, you could probably see through the package. Sorry, I just don't want to take it out because it is so crumbly and falling apart. Look how cute he is, though, and the little cookie. Adorable. Now this smells like cookie batter. Like, it smells like cookie batter with a little bit of spice. It is so good. I kind of want to order more of this because of that. It's like an authentic cookie batter, too. Like, like the rolled up cookie dough that you put, that you buy at the grocery store. That's what it smells like. So, so, so good. I can't even get over it. How good it smells. Amazing. Let me move, try to move everything into frame here. Alrighty. Oh, and there was one other thing. Now, I just want to say this was wrapped um, with a little string, so that was good. And this came bubble wrapped, so did these. But I just want to say that this company doesn't give, uh, like I said in the beginning, they don't give business cards. But they also don't give you an invoice to your order, which I find a little, uh, little strange. But, you know, anyway. Sorry that this video is so long. Sorry I keep rambling. But I really, really love this company. I would definitely order from them again, even though their turnaround time is long. Like I said, I've waited six weeks for... Um, other companies such as like the bathing garden um, so it's totally worth it to me I would definitely go on our website look around and give her a try because you know I go I I don't know I <laughs> I'm losing my words I really like this company but anyway I'm gonna end this video here because it is almost 20 minutes long so, if you're still with me, 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Alrighty. Bye.